Hey watch fam, it's Phil here at the Loom Room, thanks for checking in. Uh, I thought we'd do a quick video today, I was out for a walk and I've came to the beach. Uh, as you can see, it's not it's not the most glorious of days, so it's a little cold, but yeah, it's good to clear, clear the lungs, get some fresh air, get some of that fresh salty sea air into the lungs. And uh, yeah, it seems to be all good. I'll do a quick, just before I proceed, quick uh, wristwatch check. As you can see, I'm wearing the Rolex Air King 116900. Absolutely love this watch, one of my all-time favourites. Uh, I've actually, so, it's coming up for, or it is, I've had this now, I've had this piece a year. Uh, so that's been a year on the wrist and I was going to do, uh, I'm going to hopefully do a video on it, just uh, basically called a year on the wrist, the Rolex Air King. Uh, I think this is a phenomenal piece, I have said that in videos uh, that I've done before. I think it's so underrated, certainly in the, the Rolex catalogue. I know there's some amazing pieces that they do, but this just does not get enough love. Uh, so much character, and who knows, are they going to discontinue it? We will see. But yeah, I'm sporting that today. Like I said, a year on the wrist. Absolutely love it. Um, and as you can see in the background, so I'm just down at the beach, and hopefully you can see, I thought that might be quite cool. To watch some of this, we've got some windsurfers out today. Like I said, it isn't the greatest today. It's not certainly not a summer's day. Um, but yeah, these guys out windsurfing, braver than me, they must be freezing. Uh, I dare say they've got the full wetsuits on and stuff like that. So, nah, good luck to them. It's quite cool to see. But yeah, I just really wanted to do uh, really an update video. Um, an update from my last video. Thanks very much for everybody who watched it. Uh, my last video was, oh, what was it called? Uh, you know, I've, I've paid for a Rolex and I've not received it yet. Well, thank you very much for watching it. I think that's got like over 900 views and it's only been up a, a week or something. So yeah, thanks to everybody who's uh, who's watched that. Uh, so the update, <laughs> the update of that video is I still don't have the watch. Um, so yeah, I know there's some skeptics out there and People saying, you know, I had, I had, okay, so I had quite a few, a few uh, comments on that video, and I've got to say thanks for everybody who did comment. There was nobody being disrespectful or anything like that. Uh, it, but it really did. It was interesting to see because it really. Oh, this guy's struggling. Um, it was interesting to see um, what people were saying about that video. It really split the room. There was half of the people saying. Oh, I think you've been naive. I don't think you should have spent that money. They could go into liquidation and you're left with nothing. Uh, which, you know, I, I respect. That's your, that's your, uh, that's your point of view. Um, it is, it is a lot of money. Um, it's so, certainly not money that you, oh wow, those, those waves are getting closer. It's certainly not the sort of money that you want to be uh, losing. Certainly at a time like this where, you know, people are being furloughed and whatnot. Um, so I want to say thank you to everybody who commented. And then the, the other side of the, the, the room was saying, um, yeah, I would have done the same thing. Uh, if, they, if they were offered uh, one of the hot uh, Rolex steel sports models, they would have jumped at the chance. So yeah, uh, just following on from what I was saying there, I have had an update um, from my authorized dealer. They sent me an email just to say that their showrooms and boutiques would be reopening within the next two weeks. However, that kind of came with a caveat, and that caveat was that that is our showrooms and boutiques down in England. And as you can tell from my voice, I am not English. Yeah, I'm actually based here in Scotland. So, uh, as it stands, the showrooms and boutiques where I've purchased, where I've paid for this hot Rolex uh, model, they are not going to be opening and there is no time or date of when they will be opening. So really, I'm still in the same, still in the same, uh, oh there's a big dog coming along. It's a nice, nice dog. I think it's a golden retriever. Uh, so I'm kind of, kind of still in the same spot and that spot is I have paid full retail and I still don't have my watch yet. However, like I said, my uh, my authorised dealer here in Scotland did say that they're hoping to hear 
within the, hopefully the next two or three weeks that um, that they're going to be getting some news from the Scottish government that they can reopen their showrooms and boutiques, which would mean I would be able to collect my watch. Uh, so that's that, that's really just what I wanted to say to you guys. Uh, my update is I have no update. Well, I had a little update. Um, and actually, I thought it was really courteous of them. And I said this in the last video that I'd done, I have a phenomenal relationship with my AD. I had full faith that they're going to pull through, that they will have my um, Rolex model that I've paid for. Uh, all we've got to do now is we've just got to get a collection date organised. They're obviously, it's kind of like Catch-22, they can't do anything until they hear that they're allowed to open up their showrooms and boutiques. And I've really just got to sit on my hands. Um, I'll leave a link to that first video for anybody who's interested. Uh, I'll leave a link in the corner. You'll probably see it in your, what, it's going to be your top, somewhere about here. Top right, I think it's the top right hand corner. And just a little, another little flash of that gorgeous Rolex air kind. Got a little bit of colour in it. And I, I know this is another watch that splits the room. Like I said, I absolutely love it. Um... I think that's all I wanted to say today. I just want to thank all of my all of my subscribers. I know I don't have that many, um, but for anybody who is subscribed, then thank you very much. It means a lot. Um, and if you're not subscribed, hey, hit that little subscribe button, and you can join me on this journey of, you know, what's going to happen. Am I ever going to collect this watch? Will the company go into liquidation? Have I been naive? Will I end up with egg on my face? Uh, I certainly hope not, but, you know, I've got full faith. Uh, like I said, nobody, nobody's bulletproof. Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, right, okay, I better start, start heading home now. I've been out for a little while. Um, yeah, that's all I was going to say, guys. There we have it, one last wrist, wrist check. I want to say thanks for, to all my subscribers. I hope you are all keeping healthy. You know, we all know that watches are irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. I just hope that these little, little videos of mine entertain people for, you know, five or 10 minutes or however long they are. Um, I hope everybody's safe, healthy. Uh, I wish you all the best to your friends and family. As always, I've been Phil at The Loom Room. And thanks for checking in. Peace.